Hi there, Donna Davis here from DonnaDavis.ca, your resource for health and vitality and energized living, and from AlationCenter.com. That's my fantastic uh, yoga studio and wellness studio here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And I'm here to give you four simple tips to help you survive holiday stress. So you know what's going to happen. The holidays are upon us and we will be drawn in all directions. We're going to be running to the mall, running to office parties, running to parties at night, giving our own parties. We're going to be probably eating one too many cookies, uh, maybe a couple too many eggnogs, maybe eating a little bit too much, staying up late and just not taking care of ourselves. And maybe even your exercise routine is going to go down the tubes. And I am here to tell you that doesn't have to happen. You can reach your big holiday events and your big day or days full of energy, vitality and have energy to enjoy those days as opposed to feeling dragged out and kind of on edge when those big days and the end of the holidays come. So my four, sorry, four tips are guaranteed success to help you maintain energy, motivation, and momentum as you go through the holidays. So number one, water, all right? We do have, we have no idea if we're dehydrated. So we need to just start thinking about it. And what we need to strive for is to take half our body weight in ounces, okay? So if you weigh 125 pounds, I can use that just as a general guideline, 125 pounds is about eight cups of water. So if you weigh more or less than that, you can gauge how much you need. So you would need to drink eight cups of water a day. So you gotta start with a cup or two as soon as you wake up and then balance it out through the day, okay? Uh, another tip that I usually use is to drink the water lukewarm or, or uh, room temperature so that it's easier for your body to absorb and I grab a, a water bottle that I can fill up at home and I bring it with me in the car I bring water with me wherever I go so I make sure that I can drink drink that water I need throughout the day and I'm not trying to jam it in before I go to bed and then wake up at night okay so don't do that so try to get it throughout the day tip number two is deep breathing what does deep breathing do it calms the nervous system it calms your immune system and it helps keep you balanced and it helps keep you energized the breath cycle I, use, I love to use and I teach in my yoga classes is a form of deep breathing where you take two minutes, and this is so easy, two minutes of your day. So two minutes to take a six count in, so your belly's gonna expand on your inhale, and a six count out, big, big exhale, so your navel pulls in, you squeeze out all the air, and then you repeat, six count in, and a six count out, and you're gonna aim for 10 breaths. And again, that's like two minutes, okay? So no big deal. Find a time in the day that's easy for you to do this. So maybe it's when you first wake up in the morning. You can do this lying on your back. Maybe it's when you first get in and sit in your car. Just give yourself two minutes. Just breathe and relax before you get in traffic. Maybe it's before you go to your coffee break at work. Maybe it's before you go to bed at night. Find a time, and it's two minutes, that it's easy to sit, lie down, whatever, and breathe. Okay, so that's tip two. It takes two minutes. Tip number three. It's all about the food that we're eating. And don't worry about trying to avoid things. That'll happen if you take care of yourself. What we wanna add in are high water content fruits and vegetables. So celery, cucumbers, berries, those are big ones. Green leafy vegetables like lettuce, spinach, kale. Um, and you know what I do? Of course, I turn those into a smoothie. So I've got some of the veggies right here the cucumbers, the kale, baby kale, celery, and I have put them all into a smoothie. So you can see down here, I've got some cucumber and celery slices, maybe one cucumber stalk. Um, I've got maybe quarter of a, uh, sorry, one celery stalk, quarter of a cucumber, four or five berries. I've got some baby kale up on top there. I've got half a banana. That's going to give it a bit more sweetness. You don't want too much banana. And the other big tip so tip number four is to add in some good fat. The fat I like to use is hemp. There are many brands. This just happens to be the brand I had this time in my fridge. Hemp Hearts. So it's, it's hemp with the hull taken off it. And you take about two tablespoons and put it into your smoothie. You can also use chia. That's really big right now. I just pour it on top. You could use flax, flax oil if you wanted. You could use a quarter of an avocado. Put the avocado's amazing in a smoothie. It makes it nice and creamy. So you want to get the good fat in there. So the good fat is going to give you energy. You're, the, you're going to start burning. This fat is like long-lasting fuel. So instead of burning refined carbohydrates for fuel, you're going to start burning this, this amazing uh, plant fat. 
and that's going to sustain you and give you energy throughout the day. It's also going to keep your brain working on high, you know, really going well, so not crashing. And it's also going to, just as I said, give you energy and start to burn sugar, or sorry, not to burn sugar, start to help you fight sugar cravings. So it's going to burn bad fat and fight sugar cravings. So getting good plant fats like hemp into your diet is amazing. The other thing that I stick in for hydration along with water is coconut water. And again, this is just a brand that I had. Make sure it's not from concentrate and make sure there's no sugar added. And I just pour that in my blender, right? Fill it up to about halfway and then blend away. And you've got an amazing, amazing smoothie for your morning that will keep you satisfied and help curb sugar cravings and give you energy. So those are my four tips. If you want to get enough water in your diet, build up to at least eight cups a day, more if you need. You're going to slow down for two minutes and do some deep breathing. That's going to balance your nervous system. You'll feel amazing. You're going to add in those fruits and vegetables for sing in the morning, those high water content, low sugar fruits and vegetables. And you're going to get some good plant fats in your diet, maybe two tablespoons of hemp in your smoothie in the morning. And that's going to curb your sugar cravings and give you energy. Do those four things. I guarantee you will feel so much better through the holidays. And if you fall off track, that's easy. You just start over again. Take more water. Have a smoothie. Super easy to get these things into your diet. You can go to my website, donnadavis.ca, and I've got more tips and easy recipes for you. And I'll keep adding more things throughout the holidays to help keep you on track. And I'll also keep sending you a few more email, a few more um, email videos and video blogs so that uh, you can totally stay on track and stay energized. All right, until, until I see you again, take care of yourself and stay balanced over the holidays.